Hello everyone! In the previous video we looked at how you could change the field to make the border around it a little bit bigger using a roller in the game and uh, also use a trick sort of to make the grass grow through it. Today we're gonna look at um, how you can do the same thing using the Giants editor and uh, I'm not gonna use it in a very advanced way but uh, just um, try to do the same as we did in the game. So uh, what I did was to download um, a map mod of, um, of the same field and um, we're gonna look in there and uh, start that map now and look, uh, look into it. So it's a mod map and uh, I'm starting a new game now where I need to select the map. So here is Felsbrunn this is the one that comes with the game. This is the Spanish one. And here is the mod map I downloaded. So we're gonna start uh, start that one. This is uh, this is fine. This is the installed mods. And you can just uh, start it. I only edited it the edited it, uh, the name here and the description. By the way. I looked for this map in several places on the, you know, on all the mod sites, and I think all of them have the same one. And there are some issues with uh, with the map there, so um, I had to correct a few things in the code for everything to work. You see, this one now comes up with uh, the default uh, vehicles and a couple of houses, and that didn't work properly in. Um, in the file I downloaded so if you have problems with that leave a message or comment below and I can see if I can upload um, the map uh, the map mod I'm using here now so if we run over to this field here uh, we're going to use this as an uh, example to get into the giants editor in a moment <coughs> so you can see now as in the previous video that the field goes all the way up to the bushes and uh, the small hill here. So I'm gonna try to make this field uh, a bit uh, smaller as an example. Maybe let the grass go uh, this far out or something. So you can see everything is the default here. Now it's a new game like you saw. So um, just uh, let's uh, jump into the Giants editor and uh, take a look in there. So uh, here we are. Of course the first thing you do you download the map mod and uh, you need to extract the files from the zip file. Uh, I just do it on a desktop to uh, to make it easy and uh, but you can't work with the files inside the zip archive so you need to unzip it somewhere and you go into the to the mod folder and there is a maps folder in there and inside there you open uh, um, the i3d file which uh, is all the graphics in the in the game and then you get what we see here now and you can uh, just make sure that you see the symbols on top here that I'm pointing at if none of those are selected you can uh, right click with your mouse and you can just move around freely um, in the game <coughs> sorry so um, we're gonna zoom in here on the on the field we worked on uh, the last time that you just saw in the game you see the farm here and we're going to this uh, this part of the field here so when you look at this, it contains so two layers. One layer is the field itself, or the the bottom of the grass here, I should say, which is called the terrain detail to the right here. And we have different uh, number codes here to put in different values for different types of grass, different types of ground, and so on. So we have two layers. Uh, the bottom layer is the field itself and uh, the green part under the grass here and then you have the 
second layer which is the uh, I think this is wheat or something uh, or have been wheat and it's the grass growing on top of the green uh, green part so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, select a square tool and enable uh, terrain foliage paint mode on top here and then you see we get this uh, square tool so the first thing I'm gonna do is change the terrain which is the base level and I'm gonna delete the field by using the right mouse button subtract here to the right so if I right click here now it should turn into green like this and you can still still see um, the things growing through it so we can make it uh, a little bit wider here maybe up to to there the square tool makes this um, a bit easier uh, don't worry about this uh, growing part that uh, you can see growing through we're gonna change that in a, in a moment so we're gonna go through this part here all across the field now I can hold the alt key down to um, to move around like this I'm using the middle mouse button now to uh, to drag sideways I'm gonna delete uh, a bit more here let's see if we can uh, Get it straight. A little bit more there. By the way, it's very easy if you do a mistake here um, because you have the undo button on top here. Undo. So you can go back a step. Like if, uh, if I do like this. We can just uh, undo like that. Okay, that should be um, that should be it. So, just gonna take a quick look to see if we got everything. Yeah. Now we want to change the um, the growing layer on top, and we're gonna use uh, grass. So I'm changing to grass here. And we need different codes um, because we have many different kinds of grass. So the grass you see outside here, we want the same as that, and that should be called uh, uh, 156. So 1 is checked here, 5, and then 6, and it says green middle for some reason. But when I paint with that, you see. You get the same grass as uh, around, and this is uh, this is of course permanent. You can't plow this in the game, or unless you have the um, expand field thingy enabled, or create new field. So we're gonna paint grass now all over this uh, new area. This is of course something you can also do now in the game with the new uh, landscaping tool but uh, the downside so far with the landscaping tool is that you can't uh, you can't make this grass the growing grass you can only change the, um, the ground level so I'm gonna try to move around a little bit here and see if we got uh, everything
we need a bit more grass here. Okay, I think that looks uh, looks uh, good. So uh, this is, uh, like I said, just an example. You can use this tool for everything, pretty much. So I'm gonna deselect uh, the tool on top here, the terrain foliage paint mode, and um, let's see if we can just make another small change, just to see if it works. So you see we have this small cabin over there. We can try to select uh, select that one. And you can see uh, there are four or five, one, two, three, four, five of these. So we're gonna try to just move this just so we can see the change in the game. And you see these three arrows, the green going up and down, the red going in one direction and the blue one here. So we take the blue one and move it over here. And then it will be uh, far up in the air. So we need to. Uh, maybe that's a bit too far. Take it just over here, just to see if it works. And we. Oh, that was wrong. That's a good thing. We can undo like that. We'll try to zoom in uh, a little bit there. Should be able to select the arrow there. Put it down. Maybe like that. There we go. So what I'm gonna do now is just uh, save. Takes a few seconds to uh, to save. It's like exporting at uh, at the bottom there. And it should be done in a second, so uh, I'm gonna, gonna jump back into the game now. So I'm saving now, and then I'm gonna put all the files back into the zip file. Make sure it's in the mods folder, and I'm gonna load up the game. So I'll see you in a, in a second again. Here we are uh, back in the game, and uh, I put all the files into the zip file, and put it back in the mod folder. There are some disadvantages uh, using the editor and um, some of that is this is the save game we was in before and uh, the save game will store the state of the fields and things like that. So even if we went in just now the field would not change because it's stored in, uh, in the save game. So things you edit with the editor should be done before you start a new game. You can delete some cache files, but um, um, I'm not entirely sure what files you need to, to change in your save game for it to work. But uh, in general, the best thing is to edit your map before you start a new game. And then um, at least if you're gonna change fields if you want to move a tree or move a building or something, it's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna delete this uh, previous save game and start a new one, like we did before, like so. We can start a new far new farmer. Same map. That's fine. Let's go. So um, hopefully this is working. Remember, we also moved that small uh, cabin there, so we're gonna see if that moved as well, and how the how the field looks. Here we go. You 
can jump into this uh, tractor as well, make it a bit uh, a bit faster. Yeah, you can already tell from here that it's changed. There is the cabin as well. Oh, I'm crushing uh, <laughs> the weight there. So there you go. This is pretty much the same uh, change we did to um, did in the game the previous time. I missed a bit of grass here, I see, but uh, it's easy to fix. And there's the cabin. So, like I said before, if you have any questions about this uh, mod map, the default map, or uh, anything I did along the way here, just ask, and I try to uh, I'll try to answer the best I can. Like I said, I'm not a professional map editor or anything. This is just to get uh, get into it and get the basic idea to do to do the small things you want to do in the game. There might be some trees you don't like in one place, or uh, those are easy, easy to cut down, I guess. But uh, uh, anything you want to move, or you can also change the terrain, of course, very easy in the in the editor. So, uh, so yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.